hey guys how are you doing how's your day been i want to specially welcome you to today's gist session with your favorite girl we are gold yes you know what time it is of course you know it's just o'clock i've missed you guys and i know you guys have missed me as well <laughs> so a lot is going on in lagos nigeria and um I, i've been seeing a lot of things literally and um that's part of what has um i've decided to bring here and have us discuss about it so for today i will be talking to us about a few documents that you should have as a car owner in nigeria so the first document and like one of the most important documents you should have as a car owner in nigeria is your driver's license so your driver's license is the document that says okay yes you own a car and then you have the right to drive yes you have the right to be on the road of course your driver's license is given to you when you've done your driver's training and all of those things so you understand what these things what it means to be on the road yes you need your driver's license to be on the road and your driver's license contains uh, a few information about you like your name your age your blood group and all of those things i think your height and like centimeters or so so that is the first document that you need and this is literally the first document that these um traffic guys traffic officials ask for immediately they pull you over they ask for your driver's license even nigerian police even though it's none of their business they ask you for your driver's license another document you want to have is your um proof of ownership yes just like you get a property or something it's important that you have your proof of ownership of this vehicle yes so your proof of ownership is um, one of the documents that is given to you at the stage of purchasing your vehicle that is in the vehicle's um, office where you are purchasing it they give you your proof of ownership to ensure that it states that yes this car belongs to you yeah and if you got your car in nigeria ensure that you get the uh, photocopy of the previous owner and then a form that's the change of ownership form you also get that and ensure that you 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 have that particular document as one of your documents another thing you want to have is your insurance certificate yes i understand that in nigeria most people don't really um believe in insurance but it's important to have your vehicle insured yes you can walk into any of this um, insurance um organization i won't want to mention names but you can just walk in and have your vehicle insured find out what it takes and what um the bill will be like to have your vehicle insured another document you want to have is your certificate of roadworthiness yes this is a document that states that your vehicle is worthy of being on the road even when the roads are not worthy of your vehicle if you know you know so this is the document that you need to have and um need i say that some of these documents are um you need to renew them annually like most of them you need to renew them annually so don't get caught in the fix don't let um vio last man and all these people use you and do <laughs> because those guys are literally not smiling so if you don't have any of these documents or if they by expire trust me you're going to do giveaway to them very soon like pretty soon another document you want to have is your vehicle license yes this license is um the it, it actually states it the expiring date is boldly stated i think the month and then the day and i think you have a a period of maybe few weeks after it has expired for you to be able to renew it and then have it so it's the document that is pasted somewhere either the right side or the left side of your vehicle either which way but um, these documents are very very important another document you need to have well it's actually optional is the tint permit so the tint permit is you know when you want to go all exclusive and your you don't want your um you don't want people to know who is inside the vehicle that's when you have it tinted yes so your tint permit um, gives you the right to move around in a tinted car yes so aside all of these documents ensure that you have your fire extinguisher check the expiring date of your fire extinguisher ensure that you have your your tools your jack your spanners and all of these things 
ensure that you also have a spare tire kindly ensure that so vio don't harass you on the road and you don't end up doing giveaway to these guys because trust me these guys are literally not smelling another thing you also want to have is um, ensure that your tires are up to date yes you know i had their um, expiring date on tire so you also want to look out for some of these things ensure that you also have your seat caution i mean it's crazy when i see vehicles having issues or parked on the road and then there's nothing to to inform other vehicles that are coming that look there's actually a problem here so ensure that you have your c caution so with a few of these things i think you may you may not do so much giveaway to the traffic officials and of course you also need to know that it is time to renew this document and all of these things so i want to say a big thank you to everyone that has listened i want to say a big thank you for your time and then um, don't forget to like comment and share this video leave a comment for me underneath this video if there's anything you want me to talk about leave a comment underneath this video and um, i'll see you next week with something much more interesting to talk about i remain your one and only we are gold i'll see you next week bye for now